Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. QuickBooks has two account types for tracking the value of your short-term and long-term assets. The other current asset account tracks assets that are likely to be converted into cash or used up within one year. Examples of other current asset accounts include prepaid expenses and short-term notes receivable. A fixed asset account tracks assets your business owns that are not likely to be converted into cash or used up within a year. Fixed asset accounts track the value of long-lived assets with a larger value that assists you in performing your business. The value of these items are expensed over the useful life of the asset, which will vary by asset. Examples include furniture, some office equipment, computers, and vehicles. QuickBooks also has two account types that track long-term and short-term liabilities. The other current liability account tracks liabilities that your company expects to pay within a year. An example would be a short-term loan. A long-term liability account tracks debt that your business is not likely to pay off within a year. For example, when making a major purchase for your company, such as when purchasing a vehicle, you will often take out a long-term loan. The long-term loan taken out in order to purchase equipment is an example of a long-term liability. As when creating any account in QuickBooks, you create all of your asset and liability accounts within the Chart of Accounts window, which you can access by selecting Lists, and then choosing the Chart of Accounts command from the menu bar. Then click the Account button in the lower left corner of the window and choose the New command from the pop-up menu to open the New Account, Choose Account Type window. In this window, you can then select the Option button for the type of account to create. Note that for many asset and liability accounts, you may need to select the Other Account Types drop-down button and then select the type of account to create from the adjacent drop-down menu. Now once you have made your choice, you can then click the Continue button to open the Add Account window. Here you can enter the name and account number for the account into the fields of the same name that are shown. Note that account numbering must be enabled within your QuickBooks company file in order to view the number field. Then enter any additional account information within the optional section shown. When you're finished, click either the Save and Close or Save and New buttons to save the account. If you do choose the Save and New choice, be sure to change the account type if needed by using the Type drop-down at the top of the window to select your account type before creating the next new account. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.